Okay, welcome to uh, this PHP tutorial. Um, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate the email activation system concept, whatever you want to call it, that we will be developing, adding on, I should say, to the previous user login system thingy. Um, so if you haven't watched my previous videos on user um, user system, I think it was called, something like that, login, basically, um, it's going to follow on from the cookie login remember me style thing. Um, so if you haven't watched those yet, go and watch that. Um, the stuff we're going to talk about might still make sense, but it'd be better if you you know knew where we were starting from because we're not going to be coding the whole thing. We're going to be following on from there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, what we mean by email activation is that well, um, I think the best way to demonstrate would be by um, just demonstrating it. So we've added this email field to our register page. Um, if I just try to create a new user with, let's say, let's think of a name, um, Simon, um, and the email address, oops, email address, why isn't it being remembered? Never mind. I just set up this sort of temporary email address for testing purposes. Oops. Um, so we're going to be using that. It's this one that I have open here. You see, I've got three emails already. Um, okay, so that's the email address. The password. I'm just going to type test and repeat password. I'm going to type test as well. Hit register. Um, this time we aren't logged in like before. Um, we're just redirected to the login page. And now, if I attempt to log in, um, let's say I well, I type in the user site. Oops, Simon and the password test. This uh, we get this error message saying this account has not yet been activated. Um, something else worth pointing out is that if you get the password wrong or don't type anything in, that message isn't shown. The reason for that is just sort of an efficiency thing because it does a separate query. Um, okay, so that's the demonstration, and you can see that we've got this email address. Let's get this email address. Sorry, we've got this email um, from me, and I just called it website.com for now. Loading, loading, okay. We get this email saying, Hi, you've registered, blah, blah, blah. Simply click the link. Um, I'm not going to talk about making it actually clickable. Some webmail clients will make it to a link by themselves, but I'm going to do another tutorial on HTML emails, which you need to make it actually linked. So you should watch that if you need to, if you want to do that. But for now, we're just going to be copying and pasting it. So you see, we've generated this random code here, uh, put it in this AID variable. Um, Basically, this is just it's a link to a new page called activate.php. What that page will do is activate the account that's sort of linked to this random code, just so people can't just go to the URL and type in their username, I like to activate their account themselves. Basically, it's a sort of security. It's just sort of a more secure method. Okay, so if we just copy this link into our browser window and hit enter, so we get this message saying your account has been activated. You can now log in. We click this link to the login page. We can type in the username again. Hit enter. You see, we are now logged in. So that means our account has been activated. Okay, so that's the system and how it's going to work. Um, this was a request by a user that I've also forgotten the name of. So here you go to that person. Um, reminder that you can request tutorials from me. Um, I will probably do them because a bit hard to think of good ones um, so yeah that's that um, just message me via YouTube if you want to request a tutorial um, if you're watching this in the future and my channel has become insanely popular which to be honest I find to think is going to be quite unlikely then don't message me because at some point I'm gonna have a website uh, sorry a thing on my website where you can request tutorials anyway um, yeah that's that okay join me in part one where we'll we'll basically modify the database from the previous tutorial um, to add this new functionality. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.